please listen closely. This isn't just a casual choice. It's about God's protection over you. There's someone out there who really needs to hear this. God is warning you about someone in your life who isn't trustworthy. This is a specific and urgent message, and it may not be for everyone, so it's important to seek guidance from the Holy Spirit with every prophetic word, including this one. If you feel a connection to this message and are watching right now, it's not a coincidence. God is reaching out to you. If what you're hearing resonates with you, I encourage you to like this video, subscribe, and turn on notifications. If you felt drawn to click on this video, it's because the Holy Spirit led you here for a purpose. This message is intended for you and possibly many others as well. The Spirit of God will guide you and help you understand exactly what you need to know. Be patient and keep an open heart. Even if this message doesn't fully make sense right away, or if it doesn't immediately feel right, remember that growing in faith is not about our feelings, but about embracing the truth. I declare that through the Spirit of God, you will receive the clarity and guidance you need in this season of your life. By engaging with this message, liking, commenting, and subscribing, you help share this word with others who may also need it. Your support extends beyond yourself. It blesses others and honors God as well. This word could be crucial, potentially life-changing for some of you. God has placed this on my heart. It's his way of protecting you, not just a random message. He's providing a warning ahead of time. Be attentive, as there may be someone in your life who isn't aligned with your best interests. Trust in God's guidance and stay vigilant. This message is for many, not just one person. For some, it could be about a friend, a business partner, a family member, or even a spouse or significant other. God has been warning you repeatedly that you can't trust this person. You can't rely on or walk with them in this season because they are not in a good place. Hear me out. When you are walking with God and following His will, you become His hands and feet on earth. You are a vessel of His light. But remember, light also attracts darkness. The enemy doesn't want you to fulfill God's plan for your life and will use others to try to keep you from experiencing God's goodness. There may be someone close to you who is not aligned with God. They are trapped in a cycle of negativity and have taken on a burden from the enemy. This person is struggling spiritually and despite your efforts to help them, they remain stuck. God is urging you to step back physically because your connection with them also affects you spiritually. Being close to them ties you to their struggles and you cannot move forward when you are unequally yoked. They are under a burden from the enemy and if you align yourself with them physically, it disrupts your spiritual alignment with God. Often when unexpected things happen, like losing your keys or missing a flight, it's easy to question why God allowed it. You might wonder, where is God in this? But it's important to remember that these moments are not neglect. They are God's protection. Sometimes, God lets someone's true nature show early on, so you can see their real intentions or the spirit behind their actions. Other times, He might allow you to avoid a situation altogether, like missing a flight because something bad might have happened on that flight or at your destination. God's ways are not our ways, and His timing and actions are always rooted in His goodness and protection. He never abandons us, even when it seems like things are going wrong. It's important to remember that we are not fighting against people themselves, but against the negative forces at work. As someone who understands things spiritually, it's tough to let go of people, especially when you know they aren't fully in control of their actions. But it's crucial not to put yourself in harm's way. You are a child of God, and you need to protect your spirit and avoid walking in darkness. The enemy targets those who serve God, trying to damage their name or even harm them physically. It's a serious reminder that we must be cautious about who we allow into our lives and stay aware of God's warnings and guidance. This message is for you. There's someone in your life who is completely out of control. This person might be trying to lead you, like someone driving a vehicle, steering you in a direction. Even if they seem to be heading where you want to go, they are moving too fast, recklessly, and trying to take shortcuts. Like a ramp meant to speed things up, they want to reach the goal quickly without following the proper steps. But remember, true success requires patience and effort, like planting seeds and waiting for the harvest. If you skip this process and rush straight to the end, it's often a trap from the enemy. Quick gains rarely last because there's no solid foundation. 
Each step in the journey is important, and you need to go through them to make things secure. If something promises to take you straight from start to finish without the work, be wary. It might come at a cost that's not worth it. I really want to talk to you about being careful with the people around you, especially those who seem like they're rushing to get ahead without considering the right path. Sometimes, people can become so focused on reaching their goals that they'll take shortcuts or make reckless decisions. And that can put others, including you, in harm's way. God is trying to tell you that someone in your life may be a threat to your safety, not just because of their actions, but because their behavior is completely out of control. If you sense that this applies to someone close to you, it's important to take a step back right now. The issues here aren't just on the surface, there's a deeper spiritual battle at play. This person might be influenced by negative forces or have made choices that align with the wrong path, and this could be pulling them and you away from what's good. For them to truly change and find their way back to God, there has to be a break in the connection. It's not easy, especially if this person is close to you, but you need to prioritize your own well-being and protect yourself by putting some distance between you and those who are leading recklessly. Staying in a harmful situation allows negativity to continue affecting your life. And it's important to remember that you're the real target because you're working to fulfill God's purpose. This isn't just about the other person. It's about making sure you're safe and aligned with God's will. Sometimes people are meant to be in our lives, but only after a period of separation where growth and healing can occur. The Bible tells us to resist the devil and he will flee. But if you keep letting harmful influences stay, why would they leave? This situation is urgent, and it's something that needs immediate action. It's not just a suggestion, but a serious warning. This might not apply to everyone, but if you feel that it's speaking to you, don't wait. It could involve a co-worker who's causing financial harm, a friend who's leading you down the wrong path, or even a family member or partner whose actions are affecting your well-being. God is trying to protect you, and this warning is his way of guiding you to safety. Take this seriously and trust that by taking the right steps, you are aligning with his protection and care for you. I want to take a moment to speak from the heart because I know some of you might already be going through something really tough. Maybe you've faced a shocking event that felt like a wake-up call. If you haven't experienced this yet, it could be on the horizon. And when that moment comes, it's important that you act swiftly. This isn't about just trying to manage the situation on your own or hoping things will get better on their own. Sometimes you have to make a bold decision to step away and protect yourself. It's not always easy, but you need to physically remove yourself from the environment or relationship that's causing harm. I'm lifting you up in prayer right now, asking God to give you the courage and strength you need to walk away and the wisdom to see clearly what is good and what is not. I pray that God helps you to recognize what comes from him and what comes from negative influences that don't have your best interest at heart. It's my hope that God opens your eyes and ears to his guidance so you can receive the understanding and clarity you need during this time. I encourage you to engage with this message, share it, and let it touch others who might be in similar situations.